What's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who from XML Gaming and today guys I'm bringing you a new updated video for Transformer Devastation. So I just got my hands on Transformer Devastation Save Editor version 2 and I tested it out and it worked flawless. So I want to thank Brute Force Save Data Gold 972 for updating the save editor. Thank you, I appreciate that. So I just tried it out about two hours ago and it had a lot more features so let me share with you guys what you can actually do with version 2 so as you guys can see right here this is everything that I was able to do with version 2 and it worked I know version 3 is in the works but for right now there's only version 2 when version 3 comes out I will let you guys know and test it out and show you exactly what you can do on version 3 so Anybody that's playing the game on commander mode, which is the hardest difficulty, you may want to take advantage of this now just to save yourself a headache. So let me actually take the time right now, guys, to show you how to actually mod the save. Obviously, you're going to need a Transformer version 2 save editor. I would advise you guys to copy your Transformer save to your desktop. And also, this works for US and Euro, so you don't have to worry. And obviously, you're going to need brute force save data 474. Once you have all three of those things, you're ready to go. So first things first, you want to open up the transformer save editor, which I'm going to do right now. You're going to hit open. Go to your file. Hit OK. Don't worry about the 6DB8. Just hit OK. And as you guys can see, my money's maxed out. My upgrade kits are maxed out. Uh, recommended. I did hit check on that and as you guys can see it just automatically maxed out everything to me for me sorry then you can go down to unlock all now here's the thing with unlock all unlock all does not unlock all it only unlocks all items in the physical game it does not unlock all the missions when I say missions I mean the side missions that's the one like 1 through 50 or something like that not, it doesn't unlock that. It doesn't unlock all the collections. It only unlocks most of the items inside of the actual game when you go to the arc and you want to get the weapons and so on and so on. That's what it unlocks. And that's what I noticed that it unlocks. So now, when you go to your capsules down here, it only max out your intelligence. Obviously, I think there's like three more capsules. I told Gold about it. He's looking into it. And right now... You can only max out your intelligence, but it really doesn't really matter anyway. Because if you think about it, if you have some max money, you could just keep leveling up and leveling up, and eventually your character, whatever Autobot you're playing with, can just be maxed out. So it's not really a big deal, but it would be nice if you can just scroll down to your capsule and actually level it up. Also, I would like to say it would also be nice to level up the weapons without have to combine or sync anything. You just have that weapon maxed out at the highest grade possible, which, you know, again, like I said before, you know, it could be in version 3. But for right now, you should be good to go with the save editor. So once you do everything here, all you got to do is hit save. Hit OK. You can close this out now. Now, as you guys can see on my desktop, these two files right here, they just go in a recyclable bin. They don't really do anything. Now, what you want to do now, once you did everything in the save editor, check what you want to check. You want to actually go to brute force save data, right? Let me go. I'm on my desktop. Hit refresh. Bear with me for a second. Now, you want to go down to your transformer devastation save, which is mine's is right here, and verify. The reason why you want to verify is to make sure that it's not in the red. Most of the times, if you use the save editor and save it, it's normally in the red. So you want to take out all those wrong errors to make sure that it's okay. So I'm going to hit verify. And mine's is okay. So all I got to do is copy this back on my USB flash drive, and I'm good to go. I would advise all of you guys who are using the save editor, once you do everything to save editor, just go back inside of brute force save that and verify just to make sure that everything is okay. Because if you don't do this, basically what's going to happen, you're going to have a whole bunch of errors and it's going to be red and nothing's not going to work. Probably give you corrupt data 
and you would have to do it all over again. So to avoid a corrupt data, verify after you use the save editor, and you should be good to go. And then you could just close out brute force save data if you want to, which I'm gonna close mine out. But that's pretty much it to using the save editor. I just wanted to make you guys aware that it's out and take advantage of it. But as always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my gaming channel. And thanks for everyone for watching. And peace.